What up data nerds? I'm Luke and welcome to my channel where I make learning how to visualize data easy. For this video today, we're gonna to be focusing on how to get Python on your computer. Specifically, we're gonna be using the Anaconda distribution for this to get all the packages and everything we need in one simple step onto your computer. Don't worry if you have a Mac or a PC, um, the install process, I'll be covering the difference for both of those. Um, additionally, we'll be verifying that it installed properly. And then finally, we're gonna look at some of the pros and cons of actually using Anaconda uh, for Python. So with that, let's jump right in. For the installation process, we're gonna be using a Windows machine, but I'll be calling out and showing the differences uh, when compared to a Mac for the installation process. So come to your favorite search engine and just put in install Anaconda. Then from there, you can come and click on, uh, we're installing on Windows, so we'll click that. Next, we'll go to download the Anaconda installer. Um, a few clicks we still have to go through. Um, we'll click download. And then finally we get to this at the very bottom. We're gonna be wanting to install it uh, for the 64-bit graphical installer and that should be the case for most Windows machines. From here, the download is now starting. Now the download is complete. I'm gonna come here and click open file. Next, we're gonna be guided through the installation process. So it's a welcome message. I'll click next to continue. Um, there we have the licensing agreement. We'll agree to this. This will, um, we can install it either just for me or all users. So if you uh, have multiple users on your computer, I recommend this. I'll just do it for this purposes. Then it'll suggest a path that it's gonna save it to. Um, for this, it's gonna be the program data Anaconda 3. On, the, on a Mac, it will be an opt slash uh, Anaconda 3, but both of these locations are perfectly fine. We'll click next. One option that is specific to Windows is this option for adding Anaconda 3 to the system path environment variable. It says not recommended, but I'm actually gonna re recommend that you actually do install it because if you wanna use things like PowerShell, Command Prompt, or anything else that's gonna access uh, Python, you're gonna to wanna to use it. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to use an, uh, Anaconda specific tools to access Python. Um, and then finally, also, we want to register Anaconda 3 as the, the system Python 3.8, yes. And this just means that if you use Python, it will be referencing the Python of Anaconda. So the installation is now complete. We'll go in and click Next. Okay, so now we're at the step of, uh, you can install PyCharm if you want. Uh, this is an IDE. If you wanna install it, you can come here and click this link and install it. Um, at this time, I'm gonna recommend not to. I'm gonna actually recommend to install VS Code, which I'll have another video on, on why I recommend it and how to install it. So we're just gonna click Next to skip this process of installing. And then finally, if you want to bookmark these uh, tips about how to use Anaconda, you can, uh, but luckily you have me, so you don't need this. Now we're at the step where we need to verify the install of Anaconda and that Python installed properly. So this is specific to Windows machine. For Windows machine, you're gonna come in and you're gonna to go to the search bar and type in CMD to launch the command prompt. Uh, from there, it's gonna pop open and we're gonna type conda list. And this is going to uh, display a list of all the installed packages and in the, in their versions. This is one of the benefits of using Anaconda. And it, go ahead, it went ahead and populated all that. And then also, if you wanted to, you could, we could type Python. And uh, we have these three little arrows here. And so that shows that we have uh, Python working right here. And I can go do a... Uh, simple little hello world and it will print hello world. So Python is working properly and installed. Additionally, we can come down to the search bar and type in Anaconda 
and we can go to the navigator and then from there the uh, graphical user interface will pop up for Anaconda. So Anaconda Navigator has launched um, and uh, we have and we can see all the different packages that are available and all the different third-party modules available to access inside of Anaconda. So here we are on a Mac machine and I'm going to go ahead and verify that Anaconda and Python installed correctly. I'm going to press command and space and I'm going to type in terminal. I'm going to launch the terminal. With terminal up, I'm going to go ahead and enhance this to make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to do similar commands. I'm going to do conda list. So, yep, all the different packages are installed. And then also I'm going to launch Python. And we can see that 3.7.7 is installed uh, from Anaconda Inc. We'll do a simple hello world example. And yeah, it's working. So let's uh, quit this. And then finally, we'll do same thing. We'll do command space and we'll search for the Anaconda Navigator and launch it to verify that it installed. And yeah, here it is. Uh, and it's uh, fully installed uh, on the Mac as well. So now let's look at why you should install Anaconda so that way you have Python on your computer. First, let's start with the pros. It's extremely fast to get up and running with Python. Additionally, Anaconda is designed with data science and machine learning in mind. So there's a lot of different packages and modules available that are specific and are available immediately to do data analytics with. Additionally, it's a batteries included solution. So it comes with your Python interpreter. You don't have to go to python.org to download. It comes with its own package manager. Um, and additionally, it comes with over 150 different scientific packages and dependencies. And then finally, it has some neat third-party modules such as uh, Jupyter and Spider and some other IDEs. If you don't like Anaconda and you don't like the environment that it provides, all you have to do is uninstall Anaconda and it installs everything else that comes with it. Vice having to install piecemeal everything that you installed. Now let's look at some of the cons. So first, this may be intimidating to somebody that's uh, new to data science, new to Python, and uh, wants to get up and running. But I assure you that actually, it's actually pretty easy to get up and running. And once you get over this initial hurdle, it's actually a better solution. Additionally, something to call out, uh, this channel is focused on data visualization and data analysts. So therefore I'm recommending this, but if you're somebody that is a web developer or an app developer, this may not be the best solution because you're, you don't have as much mobility to customize the different tools that you need. And in that case, I wouldn't recommend this. I'd recommend just installing from python.org. Well, there you have it. We installed Python on both a Windows and a Mac machine. From there, we verified it was installed properly. And then finally, we went over what were some of the pros and cons of using Anaconda. This video is part of a series where we go through the basic steps necessary to get up and running in Python. For our next video, we're gonna be going into what tools are necessary to actually run Python code. So we'll be going over text editors, IDEs, and also Jupyter Notebooks. So if that series seems interesting, please consider subscribing. Also, it'd be awesome if you smash that like button and drop a comment down below of things you'd like to learn in Python. Hope to see you again.